Roald Dahl, the renowned author, passionately argues against allowing children near the idiotic thing known as television. His conviction stems from witnessing countless instances of children fixated on the TV screen for hours, their minds consumed by mindless programs. Dahl contends that television programs, or the shocking, ghastly junk, as he puts it, have a detrimental impact on children's imagination, cognitive abilities, and overall development. Drawing on his experiences visiting various households, Dahl vividly describes children in a trance before the television, their eyes wide open with absolute concentration. The poet paints a picture of children becoming tired, lolling, and slopping in a lazy manner. Their eyes popping out from extended screen time. He contends that the virtual world on television becomes a temporary reality for these children, hypnotizing them into a state of absolute fixation. Dahl labels the television as an idiotic thing for several reasons. Firstly, he argues that television programs kill a child's imagination. The constant exposure to unreal and inappropriate content fosters a disconnection from reality. Blurring the lines between fiction and the child's actual environment, the poet believes that children start believing everything they see on the screen, hindering their ability to think critically and independently. Moreover, Dahl asserts that television robs children of the joy of reading and the development of creative thinking. He proposes replacing the television with a lovely bookshelf filled with diverse and interesting stories. While acknowledging that children may initially resist this change, Dahl believes that they will eventually develop a fondness for books and discover the immense joy of reading. Dahl delves into the effects of television on a child's mind, emphasizing how it distracts them from reality and stifles their creativity. He contends that exposure to contradictory ideas and unrealistic scenarios clutters the child's mind, hindering the development of organized thoughts. Furthermore, the constant stream of images from the television prevents children from thinking independently, as their minds are saturated with the fictional content they consume. The poet argues that the television-induced limitation on thoughts renders children unable to comprehend fantasy or fairy tales. Their imaginative power is confined to the virtual reality presented on the screen, preventing them from exploring the depths of creative thinking. Dahl paints a vivid picture of the child's mind becoming dull and blind, due to the restrictions imposed by excessive television consumption. Dahl also addresses the common notion that television keeps naughty children calm, allowing parents some respite. While acknowledging this temporary benefit, he firmly believes that the long-term harm inflicted by television outweighs any momentary peace it may provide. The poet challenges parents to consider the lasting impact on their child's development and urges them to prioritize activities that foster creativity and critical thinking. To counter the inevitable question of how to entertain children without television, Dahl turns to nostalgia. He prompts parents to reflect on the past when television was absent and children spent their time immersed in books. Dahl fondly recalls the abundance of books in nurseries and bedrooms, highlighting the prevalence of adventurous stories that captivated young minds. He pays tribute to children's author Beatrix Potter and her enchanting stories, emphasizing the joy derived from those literary adventures. In a final plea, Dahl implores parents to discard the television and replace it with a bookshelf. He sees this not only as a means of safeguarding a child's development, but also as a return to a time when the magic of literature held sway over young hearts and minds. Dahl's call to action is rooted in a deep-seated belief in the transformative power of books and the potential harm posed by the idiotic influence of television.